What is up, Yankees fans? Yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. First and foremost, here at NYNews.com, we do not sugarcoat anything. Just as my boy Pete, he's as real as it gets. Pete Seminetti, who has been with NYNews since its exception, since 2005, we do not sugarcoat things. So I'm going to warn you, if you're sensitive, this is going to trigger you. This is going to be as real as it gets. So let's start. Look, I'm not the biggest Gardner fan, but he's been on this ball club since 2008 and beyond there when the Yankees drafted him out of college. Ask yourself this question. When was the last time you ever heard anything remotely close to, let's say, Brett Gardner being a cancer in the clubhouse? I'll sit here and wait. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, never. And again, why do the Yankees keep bringing him back? It's not because he's offensively great. He's okay defensively. They bring him back because they love his clubhouse presence. So you Yankees fans out there that defend Boone, you are the same kind of Yankees fans. You are going out there and saying that Brett Gardner is in the wrong because Garrett Cole can't take a joke. Saying that Brett Gardner was disrespectful. That Brett Gardner is a troll. Wow, really? You actually think Brett Gardner had ill intentions by doing that, by putting pine tar on his hat? This is the same kind of soft mentality that we are currently experiencing with this organization. And it's blent out to the fans. These people bashing Gardner and defending uh, Cole. Yeah, Cole's our ace, but um, yeah, he's really on my S list for not performing when it counts and his complete meltdown ever since they banned uh, sticky substances. But I'm, that's going to be a separate video. These people know for a fact Gartner didn't do it to be an asshole. They're just being groupies. These are the same kind of fans that if the Yankees say, do a, a flip backwards, a backwards flip, even though if you don't know how to do it and you break your neck, these are the same Yankees fans that would do what they're told to do. You see, because it's the popular thing to bash Gardner, a man who has been here for how many years? Close to 15 seasons. So everything he has done for the Yankees, win a championship, you know, be a good clubhouse presence, etc. That's all going down the drain because we all know he might not be coming back. That's all going down the drain because somebody that's practically new in the Yankees clubhouse didn't like Brett Gardner putting pine tar on his hat. Wah, wah, wah. And people are twisting that up saying that Gary Cole was the poster child for spider tech. Hey, let me ask you a question. If he was the poster child for that, isn't that a sign of guilt? Why is he mad? He wouldn't have been mad if it wasn't true. See how that works? Use common sense. But I'm going to leave that for another video. So everything Gardner has done for this organization goes down the drain because a ringless guy who recently choked under pressure when we needed him most while the Yankees are paying him, it all goes down the drain because for some reason Yankees fans think that Brett Gardner did it to be an asshole. He didn't do it to be funny and lighten up the mood. He didn't do it with good intentions. He did it because he's Brett Gardner. He's an evil guy. Sure, you guys really believe that. But he's not supposed to joke like that. Garrett Cole is our ace. He's being paid millions of dollars. Is this where the Yankees fan base has gone? Somebody comes over here without any rings, hasn't won a ring with the Yankees, and they could act literally run the organization? Is that their mindset now? It didn't work with Randy Johnson. It didn't work with Jack McDowell. It didn't work with Kevin Brown. What makes you think it's going to work with Garrett Cole if he continues this? Because this is not the first instance. The first thing he ever did as a Yankee was come into the clubhouse and say, oh, you guys should stop acting like Trevor Bowers and leave that Astro Cheney scandal behind. Yeah, so use common sense. If stories like that are leaking, this isn't the first situation where Garrett Cole had an outburst in the clubhouse. Stop blaming Brett Gardner. 
But wait for this. Garrico was excellent before uh, the crackdown. So I'm going to give him a full season before I really critique this guy. And it's going to come at a perfect uh, time frame. Because in 2024, he has an opt-out. So you guys tell me, did the Yankees overpay for, let's say, a Pittsburgh Pirate version of Cole? If we've seen that same kind of Cole that we saw after the ban, this is why I'm not going to jump the gun. Obviously, we want Cole to succeed. But when Yankees fans go out there and bash a longtime Yankee that played with Derek Jeter, Brett Gardner, yeah, something's wrong there. Use common sense. You guys know... He didn't mean to, to be an asshole. He did it with good intentions. And if Gary Cole can't handle stuff like that, then I don't think New York is for him. If you can't handle little jokes like that, just imagine what the fans are going to do to this guy if he underachieves. Th that's a scary thing to think about. And to fans saying that he's our ace, yeah, he's our ace, but why is he our only ace? Yeah. You think the Yankees... Shouldn't go out there and get another arm, another pitcher that is as good as Garrett Cole? I believe so. So when things like this happen, you can't say, he's our only ace. We have to pamper him. He's a god. Yeah. Is this a Yankees fan base anymore? We're pampering ringless players? This is almost a joke. So again, over here at N11news.com, we do not sugarcoat things. We're filling the void that needs to be filled. You're really not going to get these opinions anywhere else, to be honest with you guys. Me and Pete, and uh, maybe a few other guys. So, with that being said, what do you guys think? Uh, do you agree with uh, Brett Gardner being the devil? Uh, uh, Brett Gardner being the spawn of Satan? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from mynews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.